What's poppin'? It's Bay. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And welcome back to Chernobyl Light with this fine day. We're going to be going to sleep like we do in almost every beginning of episodes. Uh, mostly just the fact is, like, well, next day is literally, um, I have to sleep for the next day. Um, basically, I have to recoup my energy for my Kyoto. Um, but pretty much I already did all my inventory stuff, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, and my voice, for some reason, sounds really weird, and I can understand, can't understand why, and I keep voice cracking. I don't know why. My voice keeps voice cracking today. I cannot stop it. Hello, oh. Professor Kimanook. Who are you? Theodore. Hello. Are you there? Answer if you can hear me, please. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes? Yeah, who's this? The name is Olga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about you. I think we can help each other. Oh? I hear is this my fifth lately. companion? I'm afraid you need to be more specific. Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive Enior out of the zone. Well, All right. I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate mercenaries. Yes, I know. You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can talk in person. Okay. Be extra careful on the way here, okay? The monsters, they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Um... Ask about the village. If there's a village, does that mean you're one of the summer shells? The people who returned to their homes after the disaster? Some of the older ones never left. I know it's hard to believe. And there are hmm. newcomers like me. We came to the zone for many different reasons. But now we're united by one common goal. To get rid of NAR. I see. Fascinating. It is fascinating. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You'd be doing the right thing as well. I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chance. Alright, guess we're going to the village. Let's see, does Alvaro have anything to say about it? Nope. Um, alright, Red Forest, that's where we're going. Um, Amostash, who's like, okay, I, I, Alvaro's going to that one. Um, Food Drop, Skashko, you're doing that one. Ammo Drop, Mikhail, and then... That's fine, so, oh, Frank, Calcale. Do you have any weapons, my friends? Ready to continue our great work? Yes. Uh, show me your equipment, please. Alright, take this armor and take this shotgun. Uh, you'll very much appreciate it. Um, he should be a lot more successful at completing missions now. Um, very 53% there. Uh, supply drop. There you go. Let's just have him do that one. He has an 86% chance of successing on that one. Now, let's go to the Red Forest and meet this mystery woman. Oh my god, it's pitch black. I can't see hell. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here. Why can I not move my thing? Oh, I forgot. You have to use A and W and shit. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Apparently, there's uh, something about warning about monsters being out in a belt. Hopefully, they're not skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. I need shivers down my spine. Check out these little mystery locations. Kind of curious what they're all about. Oh, that's a lot of radiation. I do not like. Hello? What is going on in here? Hello? Oh, I found a clue. Hmm. This Kozlov guy seems to be important. Perhaps I should meet with him. And ask about Tatiana. Oh, interesting. If you want to read that, you can. Holy shit, the FPS. It was having an absolute aneurysm just now. What's in the woods? Hello? What's in the woods, my friends? Uh, little campsite? No. Nope. Oh my god, what in the hell did I, did I just come across? I can't shoot a dog. I, I just can't. Look, it isn't easy. I get it. But these animals will die anyways. And in the meantime, they're spreading radiation oh. everywhere. It's a mercy. I just... I can't believe this whole fucking disaster. Someone screwed up. Bad. They should have to answer for it. Let the party yeah. leaders handle all of that. We've got our own job to do. Alright, we're gonna see the pass of when the Chernobyl reactor blew up. Interesting. Well, at least the aftermath of it. Of being, uh, I guess, putting down a, a dog. It's kind of sad. But they did also have to do it since uh, pretty much every single animal in the 
local area was uh, radiated. And they're probably gonna die anyhow. But they, that is true that they were right about the fact that it would spread radiation no matter what. Oh, uh, why it was still alive. Let's see, let's check out this little village here. I do want to take a photo of it. Alright, let's check out the village. Hello? I don't know you. What do you want? I don't know I'm you either, Eagle. bud. Olga sent for me. Olga, some Igor jackass here to see you. You know this guy, or should I shoot him in the throat? D it's oh! Fine. Open the gate, Marco. Thanks! I don't want to be shot in the throat. Am I actually going to get to see the inside of this town? Hey, hey. Yeah. Right, you're one of the crew running around giving NAR the squirts. Mm -hmm. How many of them have you killed already? Plenty. Duh. You know what? Let's admit it. Don't even know. I don't like to dwell on it. So many you lost count, eh? Right on. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll win this thing. Yeah, You'll yeah. See. Fuck the NAR. Uh, NAR. Don't like them that much. Okay, interesting. Oh, we do get to check out the inside. Hello, body going. Talk to Olga if you need something. Okay. They don't really want to talk. Man, this is one crappy homeless town. God damn. Hello, Olga. Professor Kimenuk, I presume. It's mm -hmm. an honor to finally meet you in person. We've got a lot of work to do, you and I. I like her fit. Her fit looks real nice. A few days ago, someone took our supplies. My husband, Kostia, went after the thieves. Ah, I see. To. In the Shit. meantime, some NAR henchmen showed up claiming they have a prisoner they want to trade for something of value. And you oh. think it's your Kostya? The description matches. I'd make the trade in a heartbeat, but as you can see, we don't really have anything to exchange for my husband. Yikes. Um, that's about this the village. Right. It's really something. I'd never expect to find... What? Regular folks living in the middle of the zone? Yeah. You're right. We're anything but regular. We're hunters. We know these woods better than the trees know the rain. As for Olga... What about you? You're too young to... To what? Remember the Chernobyl disaster? You're right. I came with my mom from Minsk after my dad died. I was a teenager ah. then. She was a doctor who wanted to help the radiation victims in the zone. She met Matt Bay here, and well, they took a liking to each other. Then NAR arrived and came down on us hard. Fucking fascists. My mom disappeared. Now, some years ago now. Interesting. Matt Bay took care of me after that. Taught me everything I knew. Huh. In Minsk, I was just an emo girl. Here, I'm the goddamn queen of the forest. Ghostia came here two years ago with Doctors Without Borders. He stayed because of me, but yeah, the rest is really none of your business. Hmm. In All the right. conversation. I can see you're really looking out for your people. Now. I appreciate that. I'll help if I can. I promise you won't regret it. For our friends, we serve fine vodka. For our enemies, we have shotguns. Well, Hell yeah! These I buy with that. Kostya, I'm pretty sure they have our supplies too. You want me to keep an eye out for the supplies too, huh? If you don't mind, but my old man comes first, obviously. Sure, sure. I live to serve. Oh, yep. I do it dude. Alright, let's go check this out. You guys gonna close the gate or something? Okay, there you go. This is a very slow powered gate. We get some coffee as I wait for the doors to open. Thank you. Um so yeah, let's see. Apparently we gotta rescue someone. Um uh, let's quickly loot this little location up a little bit. Dear god, the radiation is on crack today. Um I'm still getting raided. I should probably move. Okay. Uh, I'm still getting radiated. Even heal. Jesus. Radiation's about just. Mmm. Take it easy. Remember, time is on our side. They'll come to us eventually. Oh, there's a lot of things. Let's listen. Mm, oh, baby. Anyway, we're in a good bargain bar 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 position. Right? <laughs> it sounds like me trying to speak. Right on. I know a guy we can sell to as well. 
Or maybe we can even sell it back to those fuckers. Hmm. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's gonna be dead in a second. Oh god, he's armored too. Yikes, yikes, he's tough. Okay, he's dead. There we go. Let's see. He's right there, there we go, he's dead. There we go. Alright, just had to wait outside and ambush that bastard. Hey, look at that armored guy. He has a lot of resources. Thank you, buddy. I was literally just healed. I was legitimately just healed. God. None of these guys were healed before then. So you like that? Even though we're getting radiated, I don't like hail. Grab those mushrooms. There's a guy downstairs. How do you get down to the basement? Oh, that's how you get down to the basement. Oh! Okay, never mind. This is actually a funny so guy. Hello. Why did I suspect you were involved in all this? Please, help me. Who? My people were counting on me to return with food. Haven't we had this conversation before? I, I don't remember this guy. stolen supplies and got jumped by those thugs. They stole your food and then set an ambush for you? Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I slaughter them all real fast. That's what happened. You say you went after the thieves. How did you know where to go exactly? What do you mean? I uh, followed their tracks. I'm a skilled tracker and hunter uh, since I was a kid. Sure about really? that. Really? Olga said you were a doctor. Those stories what not happened adding to the up. Supplies? Must be somewhere nearby. We should stop and get them. I need to bring that stuff back. Why am I still locked up in here? Mm. Let me out and let's get back to Olga. I'll make sure you get the credit for retrieving the food. This guy is okay. sketchy. He gives me a weird vibe. Let's leave him here. If he's as skilled as he says he is, he can make it back on his own. I want right, to free him, free. but I don't trust Head him. Head back to the camp. Thanks. I'll put a good word in for you. The supplies, it's somewhere back here in this looking like area. Yep, right there. Food rations, there it is. Alright. Let's head back to the town. I don't have much else going on, so let's let's do that. Alright, town, I'm back. Thanks again for breaking me out of that hellhole. But before you go see Olga, I need to talk to you. Do you Why? Know? I had a feeling you might have a hidden agenda. You have the supplies, right? Let me take them off your hands. Thanks. What? <laughs> Those are some balls you've got there. I... I really need you to hand them over. I'll give them right back to Olga, promise. Either you tell me what is this all about, or I'm not giving you shit. What the hell? All right. What does he want? All right. Look, I've been trying to help these people for years. Show them how to run this place better, organize themselves, and whatnot. Go on. But for some reason, they don't trust me. They only listen to Olga and that old coot Matve. Don't get me wrong, I love Olga. I love all of them. They're my family, and I live to protect them, even when it's against their wishes. Maybe they don't trust you because you're a lying sack of shit. What do you want with the supplies? Matve needs to learn his place. He's reckless, makes decisions that could get us all killed. His reign of terror has to be stopped. I'm going to spike his food. Just give him a little something to make him a bit more, um... I don't like this. ...docile. Then I can make some changes around you, and Olga will finally see I don't, reason. I don't trust this guy. He's going to spike it way too hard. It has to stop. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. So this is all about your personal vendetta? Yeah. I'm a doctor, as you know, I'll be very careful with the dosage. It won't do any real harm, trust me. This will benefit everyone. If you help me with this, you'll always find support here. Whatever you need, I'll get it for you. Before I make up my mind, I need you to come clean about one more thing. Did you steal the supplies yourself to orchestrate this plan? <sighs> yes. 
Yes, I did. But only because of how much I care about this place. I'm willing to do the hard thing to save everyone. I trust that you can see this and will make the right call. You know you need allies in a place like this. Trust in the great rat catcher's wisdom. Sometimes he guides us to serendipitous situations just like this one, Mousy. This Madre. I've known him for a long time, and I don't trust him. He may even be an unwilling vessel for the rat yeah, Okay, that, that definitely solved, solved, solved it by choice. Is just what he needs. Um... I'm going to refuse. I don't trust this guy. No I, way. Like, no. I'm not going to let you poison mm -mm. anyone. That's insane. <sighs> I wish you hadn't said that. Well, apparently he didn't like that. Talking thought, uh, I thought, I thought talking didn't, uh, like this guy. Huh. Interesting. Um, well, let's just put away my gun. I don't feel like walking here with a gun would be a good idea. Hello, I got your supplies. I your supplies. That's fantastic. What about the thieves? Just some um, NAR bastards dead. trying to earn something on the side. They won't bother you anymore. Good riddance. Nobody will shed a tear for those parasites. Yep. Fuck you came them. through, Igor. You're a man of your word. Thank you for saving Kostya. He can be difficult, but he's family. Mm. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. I still got allies anyhow. Ask her to join How you. about joining forces? Your people seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your skills and drive. And I could use someone who knows so much about NAR technology. Yeah, I think Madve can take care of things. Let's go! Who? New companion. Hell freaking yeah. I'll a portal for you. Just don't freak out. Okay? Yeah, it's a little weird. Making more portals. A voice in the woods has been completed. There we go, we now have seven so, skill points. Unsettling, but I trust you. Yeah, just the walk ride. through the weird green portal, it'll base. be safe. God, that noise is really loud in my left ear. Why did I have to point out my left... Ah, I, I do that sometimes. Alright, I guess I'm going through the portal myself now. Thank you, Epic, for telling me I got an achievement. Alrighty then, now we have a full team. squad. Let's go. Uh, a little more about the village. You know what, let's learn everything we can. Does it have a name? We just call it Matvey's place. Uh, initially, it was nothing but some old huts, but when those bastards started showing up on our doorstep, we decided to fortify our position. It looks almost like a stronghold. You think it could withstand an NAR siege? Not if they bring trebuchets and ballistas, but seriously, we're doing fine. Food shortages have always been the biggest issue. Huh. So I guess it's Damn. kind that of sucks. a medieval situation. Shit. Damn. Ask, um, ask how they deal with the shadows. I was going to say, NAR is only part of the problem. How do you deal with the shadows? Well, we call them lurkers. They don't come around the village for some reason. Huh. I asked Matt Vey about it once, but he wasn't very forthcoming. Said something about specific microclimate of this spot. Microclimate, you say? Hmm. hmm. The important thing is that we're safe in the village, at least from that group of monsters. I trust Matt Vey. His word's good enough for me. And, uh, ask where they stand with it in a with NAR? Any way we can. Mostly with guns and bullets and knives and pretty much whatever can be used to hurry someone along to the grave. I wonder why they're so intent on harassing you. Huh. Well, you don't bother anyone out here? We thought the same thing at first. We figured maybe we could come to an understanding and they'd leave us alone. We got the whole Assholes. here after all. Some low-level mercs agreed to turn a blind eye, but then they started coming to collect. A tribute? Exactly. It started small, but then the fuckers got greedy. <laughs> Naturally. They even wanted to borrow some mm. ladies from our village for a party. Sounds Yuck. That, I don't like that. Said to Matve, I'm no lady, but I'll go. And Matve replied, like hell you will. And then he told those NAR bastards to go to hell. Well, that's understandable. He's your stepdad. He was worried about what they'd do to you. Hell no. He knew if I went with them that they'd all end up dead with a mouthful of severed dick. I guess Fuck he yeah. wanted to avoid an all-out war for as long as possible. I love <laughs> you truly killing men like that. My favorite. 
Ah, uh, we're done for the day. I love killing men and, and sh severing their dicks off and showing them down their throats. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, that's all success. Ammo, ammo, some food. Nice. Um, more food. Thank you. Um, Ogre, new member of the team. Let's go. Um, let's give myself some rations, normal rations, and then uh, same rations as Igor. So there we go. That's it's pretty good. There's not enough beds, which will throw some humans to sleep on the floor. All right, what in God's name is that thing? Oh my God, that is like a force field. Um, so we gotta get ourselves a new bed. Um, for a new companion. So let's see here. We can get something nice and fancy, properly. Um, formerly bed, bunk bed. Uh, we only need the one. Alright, there you are. Another bed has been added to the place. Now we have a new companion. Um, I do want to look at the, what kind of skills I can now unlock. Oh, more inventory space. Oh, assault rifles do more damage. Oh. Alright, Ogre, where are you? I need to speak to you. I need some of your skills. Igor, I know you're busy, but you shouldn't compromise your team's well-being. Yeah. More beds, please. Mm-hmm. I already did that. Um, we'll yes. more beds. Right. More beds. Noted. It's important. I'm serious, Igor. Mm-hmm. What okay. about more Olga. beds, Igor? I'm tired of sleeping I, on the ground. I, like I, I thought you were a bed already. Cave woman, I mean. Show I'd me like your equipment. Your gear loadout. Sure, Igor. Um, actually, never mind. I don't have to share any guns on me. Um, but train! One of my favorite parts of this Hi, game Olga. is the training. In I was this wondering game. if you could share some of the know-how you've picked up in the zone. Yeah, I'd be glad to. If you're here in the zone, you must be self-sufficient. You don't want to end up worm food. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Organize. Let's do that. It costs two Fantastic. skill points. I'm um, ready to learn. Oh, I'm very excited to see what no kind of training or like side mission I do for this it. one. Oh, she might just be teach me something, or I might actually physically learn something. Um. Let's see. Right. It seems I've got my work cut out for me. Yeah, this Olga? is going to be extremely difficult, maybe even dangerous. I thought you were going to teach me how to effectively pack a bag. How could that be dangerous? Mm. Dangerous for my mental health. But let's <laughs> not get ahead of ourselves. Thanks. Firstly, I want to address the fact that for some reason, I'm the only one who can teach you the art of packing. Presumably because I'm a woman. I find that sexist, extremely and offensive. I beg your pardon. Interesting. Thank you. That said, I do have some tricks up my sleeve, or should I say, up my bag, <laughs> yep. uh, that I can share with you. Because frankly, Igor, when I look at the warehouse and how you furnish and organize it, it makes me weep. You Thanks. weep? I never noticed. Thanks. I'm weeping on the inside. My soul bleeds when I see this chaotic trash heap of grime and despair. No clean lines, no aesthetic, just a man cave reeking up testosterone. That's a little bit harsh, that's, don't you that's think? That's what happens when you get four men in one, As a wise man one said, When the student is ready, the teacher reveals herself. And you're the teacher? Yes, I am. Here's the first secret. It's all in your head. Huh? What do you mean? The chaos in your head translates into the chaos in your inventory. The more organized you are, the clearer your thoughts, the purer your mind, the better your packing skills. Yeah, yeah, I agree but... with that. That, that is, I agree. But, but fully. nothing. Don't argue. Don't deny it. Don't fight the truth. Just be silent and absorb. Okay. I'll let you think on this for a couple minutes or hours. So it's just, yeah, basically just teaching me. There you go. Uh, some of the other mini games you do for your skills, um, you I actually do you, physically professor? do things, but I guess not that one. Oh, um, train. I'd be glad to. Uh, let's see. Perfect organization. Uh, yeah, let's do Fantastic. it. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Oh, great huntress. Mm -hmm. No jokes while we're training or I'll smack you upside the head. Got it? I like your gut, G. Bam! That's all I could think of. 
Oh, uh, right, come on, let's do again. this. Time for the next ah, lesson, nice little clean table. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be even more fascinating than the last one. Yeah. I advise you to take this seriously. You wouldn't make fun of someone teaching you how to handle C4, would you? Probably not. Yeah. Of course you wouldn't. So imagine this. Every piece of junk you stash is a brick of C4. You have to place it gently, wisely, and efficiently. Otherwise, it'll explode. To my knowledge, canned food doesn't... Don't interrupt. Why do you take everything so literally? It's a goddamn metaphor, goddammit. That I ever get to meet Tati sounds like me. I can never get metaphors. What she ever saw on a tedious egghead like you? You and me both. Anyway, you have to be careful and mentally present when arranging this. your shit. I love this. I love Trust that your life depends on it. That's lesson number two. Okay. What's lesson number three? It's called believe. Believe in believe. what? Believe. Believe that you will find whatever you need in your bag without checking. Women practice this all the time. What do you say, student? Oh, I want to believe. Believe, yeah. Is that the end of that of that one? Yep. Yep, it was. Uh, do you have any more skill points? Let's see. Um, got three more left. What, what else can we get? Um, train me more, please. Oh, I'd be glad. Um, discipline control. Let's do discipline. Fantastic. Why not? I'm ready to learn. No joke. All right, that's literally the same line each and the time. Okay, never mind. Let's just uh, get to the training lesson. Today I'll teach you how to stay alive a little bit longer. Oh shit! Medical. Knowing how to use a med kit, healing salves, and herbs is obviously important. Yeah. But I won't be talking about that. What are you going to talk about, Olga? About resolve, grit, and determination. Mm. About having the guts to do right. what's right, whatever it takes. I get what you're saying, but what does it have to do with survival skills? You know the stories Rock about people who dream. achieve seemingly impossible feats mm. in times of crisis. There's this tale about an old woman who somehow lifted a tram because her grandkid was stuck underneath. I'm sure that's an urban legend. Even so, with inner discipline and strength of conviction, you can sometimes surprise yourself. Let me ask you something. Are you willing to die for Tatiana? Without hesitation. <laughs> of course, I go is. Of course, he is ready she to die. Need you to die. She needs you to live. Stay alive, Igor. It's the only way to see this through. Okay, I guess we gotta live. I, I'm, 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 I'm not surprised. I go would just outright die for his wife even though she's probably dead well we learned all the skill points i need to learn this episode so i am going to actually end this here um if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and like and comment below and click that little bell down below and also don't forget if you want to support the channel and follow click that little link down below to my patreon page um it's one to five dollars a month and we'll um you get access to my content only, exclusive content, and also voting powers on some things I have planned in the future. Um, but another thing you also get is your name appears here on the, at the end of the videos. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So is Mame um, for supporting the channel since the beginning of times. And well, that's really all I got to say with that being said. Peace.